Okay, welcome back to part two of our lab workshop 4A. So I'm going to open up my database that we've been working on. We've created four tables here for our database. Uh, tables and queries are the working parts of a database. Um, there is another type of object we can create in Microsoft Access called a form. And forms don't really, they're not a working part of the database, but they will make it a little easier to input data. We've seen that we can always input data using the data sheet view in our tables, but forms give you another way to do that. So I'm going to create forms for each of my tables, or for the artist, the painting, and the placement table. So I go to the Create tab. And for forms, I'm going to use the form wizard. So the first form I'll create is for my artist table. So I'll pick out of my list here, I'll pick the artist table. I'll bring over all of the fields. I want all, all of the fields in my form. I'll say next. Uh, there's different types of layouts. We'll just take the default. I'll say next. What title do we want for our form? So we'll call it the artist form. and it's going to open so that we can enter information. And I will say finish. And so this is what a form looks like. You navigate forms down at the bottom here. So we're looking at record one of three. I'll go to two of three, three of three. And then I can actually put in a new artist. So I'll say the artist's last name is Gray, first name Ash. I'll come up with an email, so A Gray and a phone number. And again, our input mask shows up here, so all I have to do is type the 10 digits of the phone number. So I can close the artist form. If I go back and look at the artist table, now my new artist has been added into the artist table. So I'll close that again. I want to create a form as well for the uh, painting table. So we'll do form wizard again. This time I'll pick the painting table, bring over all the fields. I'll say next, next, and finish. So here's the painting form. I do have some paintings by my new artist. So I will go to the, down here to navigate again down at the bottom. I'll go to the last record or go to a new blank record. Uh, it'll automatically give it a new number. So the first title is a self-portrait. The medium is oil. The price is $550. $550. And then the artist ID, I can again pick from my drop down, it's ash gray. And then I want to do another painting. Uh, title is changing cells. Medium is watercolor. Price 275. And the artist is gray. And then one more new painting. Uh, title is Simplexity. Medium is Oil. Price is 350. And this is our new artist, so gray. So I've input three new paintings. I'll close the painting form. And then I want to create one last form. I want to create a placement form. So we'll do form wizard again. I'll pick my placement table. I'm going to take all the fields over. 
I'll say next, next, and finish. So now I'm going to place some paintings in galleries. So my first placement, the painting is Linear Thoughts. So I'll pick it from my list and it's going to the 270 West Gallery. The date out, I get a little calendar here and I can pick, um, I'm going to say November 14th. And then I'll go to my next placement. Next placement, Mean Mode in Red is the painting. It's also going to 270 West. The date out is also November 14th. And no date back. Simplexity is the next painting. It's going to 270 West Gallery, same date out, so November 14th, uh, and Regression Blues uh, is going to Monica's, date out, we'll put it on the 14th as well. And then our last placement is the painting. I have to click this twice for some reason. Uh, Changing Cells is also going to Monica's on the 14th of November. So we've put some placements into our placement table. I'll just close this table. We can go again and open up the placement table and see that the data has gone in there. Now, the, uh, we've, what, we've got our information in our database. How do we get information out of our database? Well, for that, we use objects called queries. So we're going to create a query, two different queries. The first is going to give us a list of paintings by artists. So I'm going to create a query. I'm going to go to, in the Create tab, I'm going to go to Query Design. And Microsoft Access does uses something called Query by Example. Um, so we're going to pick the tables that we need to include in our query, and then we're just going to drag and drop the fields that we want uh, to pull out for, for our query. So I want a list of paintings by artists. So I need the artist table. So I can either double click here or I can use the add button. And I want the painting table. Add. And that should be all I need. So I'll say close. So I want a list of paintings by artist. So I want the artists. I want to see the artist's first name first. So I can drag that down to the first field here. Then artist's last name, and then painting title, and the medium, and the price. So I've created my query in Query by Design. I can, in the view, uh, we have different views again for our query. At the moment, I'm in design view for my query. I can see what that looks like in SQL, in structured query language, by looking at SQL view. So this is actually the SQL language query. So it says select artist from the artist table, artist first name, from the artist table, artist last name, from the painting table title, from the painting table medium, from the painting table price, from the artist table with an inner join painting, the painting table. So we're joining the artist and painting tables on the artist ID in the artist table equals the artist ID in the painting table. So it says that we're doing a join based on that foreign key link. So that's what the SQL command would look like. 
If we go to data sheet view, we'll actually see the results of our query. So this is the information that came back as a result of our query. So it really, it is a list of paintings by art, art, author, artists. So we've got uh, three paintings by Rose Brown, two by Daisy Green, one by Violet Black, and three by Ash Gray. So everything looks good there. I will close this query, save changes, yes, and I have to give it a name. So this is a list of paintings by artist. Say OK. I want to create a second query, so I'll go to Create again, Query Design. And now I want a list of paintings that are out on loan by gallery. So here I'm going to want information from the painting table. So I'll add painting and the gallery table. Uh, and I actually have to have the paint, the placement table as well, because I have to have some sort of a link between these tables in order to pull information uh, from them. But I need to know how they're linked. So I'll have to add the placement table as well. So we'll say close. I can rearrange these again so that um, I can see what's happening. So I want a list of paintings out on loan by gallery. So I'm going to put the gallery name is the first thing I want to see. I'll drag it down. And then I want to see the painting title. I can drag down. I can also, if I just double click up here, it will put it in the next, put that field in the next, uh, next column down in my query. Uh, the title, I'll ask, I want to see the price and the date out. So let's see what this query, the results of our query, query will look like. So let's go to data sheet view. And that looks pretty good. That's got the, that's pulled out by gallery, the list of paintings that are out in each gallery. So that looks good. We'll close it. Save changes and layout. Yes. And so list of paintings out by gallery. Say OK. Now the fourth type of object that we can create is a report. Again, it's not tables and queries are the working parts of our database. Forms are a nice to have and Reports are really just a nice to have as well. But the results of those queries weren't really in a nice form to be printed. So that's what the report gives us, a printable format for our queries or tables. So I'm going to create, uh, for reports, I'm going to use the report wizard. And I want a report that cut will give me the results of my first query. So the list of paintings by artist. So these were all the available fields in that query. I'll bring them all over. I want them all to show in my report. I'll say next. I want to see it by artist. So that's good. I'll say next. I can add groupings levels so I could group them by medium. I could say, you know, put all the oil paintings together. I won't put any particular grouping on this on this report, but I could do that. I'll say next. I can sort records, uh, but I don't need any particular sorting again in this list. So I'll say next. I have a choice of layouts and a choice of paper orientation. I'll just take the defaults and say next. What title do you want for your report? So this is a list of paintings by artist. And I'll leave the box that says I want to preview the report. So I'll say finish. So this is what my report looks like. And a lot of times you have to sort of rearrange uh, the items in your report. At the moment, 
we don't have enough space for the price to show. So it, I'm in a print preview at the moment. I'll close the print preview. That takes me to the design view, which I can do an awful lot with these reports. I can add logos and pictures. I can uh, do a lot of different things. Just for simple layout changes, though, I want to go to layout view. It's much easier to deal with layout view. So here I can click any area. I can change the size of this box and this box. So I can take it, hold down the shift key, and I'll pick that as well. And then I can move those both over. I can take the title heading and the different titles. I can move them all over. I'll take medium and move it all over so that price I can move over and then I can also expand that box so I've got enough room to show everything. So this is what my report would look, which it look like, which is a much better uh, format as far as printing out a report. So I will close the report, save changes, and layout, yes. And I'll do a report for my second, uh, for my second query as well. So I'll go to Report Wizard. This time I want the list of paintings out by gallery. Bring over all the fields. Say Next. How do you want to view your data? So I wanted it by gallery, so that's fine. I'll say Next. Uh, do you want to add any grouping levels? Not really. I'll say Next. I can sort again. Uh, in the next Next week, we'll actually look at this summary options. This is where you can actually get access to do a little bit of math for you. Uh, so we'll see how we do that next week. I'll just say next, uh, take the default layouts, and finish and preview. So here's my report. Again, I'm going to have to do some layout changes. So I will close the print preview go to layout view and again start moving things around Let's see if we can move everything over here yes and that my date field I'll lengthen it out so that I've got something there I'll move this title over and actually make it bigger so it says date out. There we go. So that's what I want my report to look like. I'll close it. Save changes. Yes. And that's actually not the name I wanted for it, so I can come over here and rename it. So uh, paintings out by gallery is the correct title. So that's it for our first workshop on Microsoft Access.